object like this, and he, he wanted to, uh, to extract information from uh, these objects, and he was looking for uh, a computer scientist that can uh, produce software to extract information from the, the networks. You know that uh, there are several kinds of, uh, of networks, uh, protein, gene, uh, biochemical networks, signal transduction networks, and that, uh, uh, you know that we need uh, mathematical models and the computational methods to extract information. Uh, usually networks have uh, a thousand of interaction and nodes. Uh, our point of view is that the, the structure affects the, the function of the network. Uh, here you see a, a roadmap of Italy, and maybe you don't know anything about traffic jam in Italy, but just looking at the map, you can see that maybe you can have problem here, you can have problem here, and uh, you don't have a problem here, unless it is summer and everybody goes to each, but uh, usually you are not wrong saying that Milano and uh, Rome are uh, important nodes in this network. And the same is for the, for the uh, biological network, you can imagine that something happens here or, or here. So if we analyze the structure of a network, we can extract information. And uh, uh, one uh, uh, of the methods are uh, to compute uh, centralities parameter. And the Centiscape uh, uh, is a plugin that uh, uh, calculates several centralities parameters. Some are global, like average distance diameter, and others are single node parameters, okay? Degree, stress, between us, radiality, and so on. Uh, just to focus on the two of them, uh, betweenness and closeness. Uh, the betweenness, uh, uh, the closeness uh, uh, is the sum of the distances, the shortest path, from one node to, uh, with respect to the other node of the network. So for example, here you see the map of Spain, Madrid is, uh, has a high closeness because uh, it is near many of the town in the map. Okay. The other is the betweenness, between us, it counts uh, how many shortest paths pass uh, through a node. So if you consider this map, Madrid is important. If you consider the map of Spain and uh, France, Barcelona is important because uh, many shortest paths connecting Spain and France pass through Barcelona. Okay? Then, just uh, uh, an example that uh, this is a node with high between us because they connect the top and the bottom of the network. So if a node uh, uh, has a high between, we can imagine that uh, it is a communicating node, okay? It brings in communication uh, several uh, other nodes in the network. Uh, just an example, uh, a network of leukocyte recruitment. Uh, leukocyte recruitment is a process uh, that happens when uh, the leukocyte uh, see the infection and they attach to the blood vessel, uh, to, to the, they are in the blood and they stop and they attach to the, to the blood vessel to fight against the infection. And uh, it is known that uh, there are 61 uh, uh, proteins that uh, are involved in regulating this process. Uh, we, we reconstructed the net of 61 nodes and uh, 241 interactions. Uh, we know that uh, uh, this process depends uh, on the activations of uh, uh, some proteins that are, called, that are integrins, and we know that uh, these three proteins are negative regulator of integrin activation. It means that if, for example, SARC is activated, the process uh, is uh, inhibited. Okay. I show you the uh, Satoscape example. Okay, this is the network. We have also some uh, value for lab experiment activation level. Uh, you start the plugin. You can sell a several central. Here you have uh, uh, an help that uh, teach you the meaning of each uh, uh, value. And you can start. And uh, you have the results. They are loaded as uh, uh, node attributes. Okay. Here you have uh, several options uh, several graphic options, one of them 
most interesting is this one. You can, for example, choose two uh, values, for example, degree and betweenness, and you can have uh, a scatter plot. Here you have the betweenness, in the vertical you have the degree, and you can see uh, that, for example, uh, the SARC has a, a, a high betweenness and a high degree. Uh, you can do the same with the uh, uh, experimental uh, uh, data set. If you choose, uh, for example, this is uh, this our activation level, you can see that uh, some nodes have high betweenness and have high activation level. So these nodes are uh, important from a topological point of view and from uh, uh, the biological point of view, the experimental point of view. Okay. Uh, the, the color. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, just uh, to distinguish the, the nodes. Okay. okay. Different color, different nodes. Okay. Uh, okay, just a look here. You can order the value, and you can see that SARC has uh, uh, the high, highest value of, the, of between us. Then, coming back. Okay, second step of the analysis. Uh, we saw also yesterday that the necrostate is dynamic. Uh, it means that the structure is not uh, uh, static in time, but uh, it can uh, be altered but by some perturbation. For example, for example, you can have gene deletion, you can have drug usage, or, or gene duplication. Uh, gene deletion means that uh, you don't have the protein, because the protein is not expressed, and uh, because you don't have the gene, so it is uh, like to remove the node from the network. The same for drug usage. Some drugs uh, inhibit one protein. So you have the same network, but that protein is not uh, activated, so uh, it, it, is, it is like to uh, remove it from the network. And uh, we have to, uh, to study uh, the effort of uh, removing nodes or adding nodes to prevent side effects of drugs and to uh, maybe modify network structure to reestablish its functionality. Here, an example. Now, you see that uh, node 4 and node 3 are important nodes because they connect the top and the bottom of the network. They have a high between us. If you remove node 6, then node 4 becomes a, a, a peripheral node. Okay? So if between us decreases, okay, uh, this uh, maybe not six is inhibited, or maybe the gm is uh, is uh, deleted, and you see that removing not six, not five, and not three, not five and not three become uh, essential. They increase their importance uh, in the network. So th there is a sort of a. a Dependencies of node 4, uh, node 4 depend on node 6. Maybe uh, if you think about, uh, just like we saw about uh, some uh, social networks, maybe you are important in uh, your social network only because you are friend of one that is important. So if we remove him, you are not important. I don't know if you know something about uh, Italian politics, but uh, we have Berlusconi now that uh, is a central node and he has many friends, and they, they don't want him to give up because if uh, he is not a recandidate to the next election, they lose uh, their position because they are important only because they are friends of him. <laughs> so, not only biology. <laughs> okay, then, uh, we can see the effort of removing the node. Uh, you see the betweenness of node five and node three increases. You, you take the betweenness, uh, the difference of the between us in, uh, in this network and in this network. And you see the in network B, the between us increases for node 5 and node 3. And uh, for node 4, the between us uh, decreases because now he is a, a peripheral node. So we can say that the, the presence of node 6 in the network uh, perturbates or interferes with uh, 
node 3, node 5, and node 4. It is not uh, the same if node 6 is in the network or not. <coughs> Maybe for, uh, and also for, uh, for this node, that are peripheral, they are peripheral here and also here, so we, we don't have a, a, a big change. This is expressed in uh, percentage. It means that uh, uh, here, uh, node 5 uh, gains the 27% of the total between us in the network. Uh, here is the definition of interference, it's just the difference of the centrality in the two networks. I use between us, but you can do this with uh, uh, many centralities. Just a, a, a roadmap example that is uh, uh, intuitive, I, I hope. This is a roadmap of Italy. Here we have Milano and Bologna. If you want to go to, from Milano to Bologna, you have to uh, take this road. And here there is a, a little town. It's not an important town. Uh, but if you, you block maybe for a carnation for work in progress, uh, the, the network here, you have to take another road, this one. Okay. Uh, remember that in Italy, the name of the town is the, the name of the uh, highway exit. So if you stop Melegnano, it means that you, you, you stop the, the, the highway in this point. Uh, uh, what, uh, what are the consequences of removing this node, okay, to stop uh, stopping the, the, um, the road here? You can see that <coughs> we have uh, the road, the, the red uh, way and the blue way, okay. This is the positive interference. We have a positive value here. Uh, it means that if uh, Melendiano is in the network, these nodes, the red, are important in the network. If you remove them, then uh, uh, they, are, they, they lose importance. They, they are not important. Okay. This is the positive interference. The, the role of Melendiano is positive for this, this town. And then there is a negative interference. Here we have negative values, because uh, if you remove Melegnano, you, can you have to take uh, this, uh, this way. So if Melegnano is in the network, is a negative interference with respect to this node. Okay, for this node, it's better that Melegnano is removed. Okay, as a negative perturbation on this node. And now imagine uh, if you have a protein network, and uh, an important protein that connects several proteins, and you inhibit them, and the protein have to, to choose another way uh, to, to maintain their functionality. Uh, so the positive interference is when the, the node is important. The node 6 has positive interference with respect to node 4. Okay, if node 6 is part of a network, node 4 is important. Negative interference is negative value when uh, in the example of node 6, node 6, if node 6 is uh, in the network, it has negative interference with node 3 and node 5 because they are less important. Just uh, coming back to the example, uh, we know here that SARC is an important node in the process. We start the other plugin that calculates the interference. I use only the betweenness, but you can do with uh, uh, all the other parameters. You click start and you see a neat map. And you see, for example, that JAK2 has high negative interference value. It means that if a SARC is inhibited, removed, uh, this uh, uh, has a, a more important role in the network. So we can also look what's happened to okay to check two we can try to remove jack two and you see that removing jack two you have negative interference with the shark protein okay uh, this is not a, a, a trivial, uh, okay, it's not trivial because SARC has uh, uh, 
about uh, uh, 30, uh, I, don't, I don't remember, uh, okay, 27, 27 neighbors, and JAK2 has uh, 16 neighbors. So uh, we see uh, that in our vir virtual experiment, okay, we know that the process depends uh, on these two, these two nodes. And uh, we perform, we have the virtual experiment, this is a knockout experiment, we remove SARC and JAK2, and we can do a, a real experiment, inhibiting SARC and JAK2. Uh, we know that uh, SARC, uh, if SARC is activated, the leukocytic recruitment is inhibited. We perform an experiment with uh, JAK2, and we see that uh, JAK2 is an activator of the leukocytic recruitment. So if you inhibit the JAK2, the uh, uh, leukocytic recruitment stops, okay? So it seems that in this process, uh, this process is regulated by these two proteins. Okay, so you now, uh, we started from uh, uh, 61 proteins and now we have two target proteins. Is, uh, this is the interference plugin. And then uh, I show you some work in progress. Uh, the first uh, is that one. Uh, suppose sometimes you have uh, a network, but also you have, uh, for example, phosphorylation level, some uh, uh, data set from uh, experiment. Okay, suppose this is your network and you know that phosphorylation level of uh, node six is four. Okay, imagine you have normalized all the values uh, and uh, everything that uh, you need. And uh, the phosphorylation or the expression level of other proteins is only one. You can change the network, okay, Multi, uh, creating four copies of uh, node six, okay. If you do this, you have the betweenness value of node two and node four, and node four yeah, is the same because they connect the top of the bottom, three nodes with the bottom, three nodes with the bottom. But if you, uh, uh, if you change your network and you make uh, four copies of a node six, the between us values changes, okay? Now, node two is more important. It has a between us value of 100, and node four is less important because here we have uh, more, more nodes to be connected, okay? So I imagine you have a protein-protein interaction network with, where each node has its level. You can uh, transform it to your network using this algorithm. And then you can apply the centralities, but uh, maybe also other, uh, other tools. For example, you can find a cluster in this network instead of in the other, maybe using MCO or other, other tools. Uh, here is the difference between the, the two networks with the values. Uh, we are just uh, working to see differences in, uh, uh, we have a tissue from uh, Saskrofa with a healthy heart and a attacked heart, and we are just looking to the differences of the, the, two, uh, the two network. And uh, it is, uh, this is what I showed you before. Uh, here you have the betweenness, and here you have the phosphorylation level and you have just a graph. Here you have a number that includes the lab experiment and the topological analysis. Uh, and uh, that can be used as a, a, a biomarker of the, of the process. Okay, imagine you have uh, 30 patients, 30 networks, 30 for, uh, kind of a phosphorylation level, and you can uh, compute the betweenness for all the 30 networks that are different because they have a different uh, uh, activation level or expression level. The second work in progress we are doing is uh, that uh, you know that some centralities can't work uh, uh, with directed network. It means that if you have a direction, uh, some centrality, for example, the closeness is not defined, okay? But direction are very important, for example, in metabolic networks or in a signal transduction network because you have information of uh, who activates who. So for example, in this network, uh, you cannot define the closeness of node F because uh, it's uh, disconnected from the network. There is no path from F to the other nodes. 
So if you change the normal definition of a closeness to this one, no, the normal to this one, you can assume that uh, uh, f, uh, the distance from f to the other node is uh, infinity, and then uh, here the, the, the closeness of f is zero. Okay, so you can have uh, a measure of the centralities for direct network and also for network when some nodes are uh, uh, not connected because maybe you, you don't have uh, enough information. The other was, uh, the other, the last one is, uh, we, they say yesterday to, to, to ask uh, for the right question, okay. Uh, you have, suppose you have a, a different network, hundred of networks, okay, and you cannot analyze one by one. You cannot see a list, maybe if you have a thousand of nodes, you have to check the centralities, okay. You can use uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the upside interpretation theory that uh, uh, comes from a software analysis. Uh, uh, it is due to Cousseau, uh, he's a uh, very important scientist. Uh, you just, uh, you can see t these two sequence of number. I, I think that you, you don't see that they, they have something in common. But uh, you can automatically use the absolute interpretation theory to check that, for example, they are in the same interval. All these values belong to the interval 3, 12, okay? So imagine you have uh, 100 of networks, you uh, you look at the betweenness of all the networks and automatically you know that for each node you have the interval of the betweenness value. So if the interval is, uh, uh, is a little interval, you, maybe the protein uh, doesn't not change uh, between the different networks, but if uh, uh, you have a large interval, something happens to that node in the different networks. Uh, there are uh, a lot of property that can be funded uh, found uh, with the upside interpretation. And uh, uh, this is the next work, I hope. Uh, it comes from uh, the uh, software analysis, because in a, in a software, uh, you have a thousand of variables, and uh, you want to check if uh, the, 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 the software works fine. So you have, maybe you're interested in the interval of each variable. And uh, the same thing can be applied to, uh, I think, to a network with thousands of, uh, uh, of nodes. I think that uh, this technique has been used uh, to test uh, the software of the Airbus A380, the, the big one. Okay, they tested with this technique uh, the, the software. Uh, okay, conclusion, uh, uh, Scape allow you to identify important nodes in the network and uh, uh, allow to integrate uh, the topological analysis and data set from experiment uh, just to help you on driving uh, further experiment. At the moment we have uh, about uh, 7,000 or lower than 55 citations. And uh, the interference is uh, the tool that uh, allows to simulate knockout experiments. Uh, you can remove uh, just one node or uh, also set of nodes and uh, uh, we can also extend the notion to edges, to removing edges. And uh, uh, it gives you the, the, the measure of the importance of the node with respect to the other nodes. Okay, and uh, we have about 400 downloads by now. Uh, so f uh, we have some future work we want the definition from directed, weighted networks. We are working on a multi-thread version of Scientiscape where you have a, we, we have a server, and if your uh, network is larger, you can send the network to the server, and uh, it give you the, the computation, uh, the result uh, by email. And then we can automata uh, automatic analyze of several networks. Uh, we, uh, we want to evaluate difference uh, between networks, and uh, we want to perform the algorithm to integrate the topological analysis and the experiment data set. Okay, uh, I hope uh, I finish porting uh, the two plugins by January for the Cytoscape 3.0, I, I hope. Uh, 
and uh, here you find some uh, references. And, and thanks to Jason and all the core developers that uh, always answer to me <laughs> when I write a question in the Cytoscape group. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, we can, uh, uh, if you use the, the, the icon that I'm implementing to that, uh, uh, take several copies of the nodes, mm -hmm. you can uh, uh, change the betweenness uh, when you change the, the, for example, the expression level of one node. Right. Okay. I, I don't know uh, what about. Like using the topology the same, can you do sort of the same analysis by changing the name? Mm -hmm. and, and having uh, uh, node metrics or network metrics that are based on, for example, not just tasks where you have one, but tasks where the tasks are weighted, right? Okay. Uh, for example, in the, the Rotomed example, you have a weight. Mm -hmm. between, between two towns, you have a distance. Right. Okay. Uh, the problem is that. Uh, uh, Centralities are uh, uh, based on the shortest path. Sure. So, uh, if you have uh, uh, integer numbers, sure. maybe you have a four and five, uh, and you you get only the path with four. So you have to be careful of uh, uh, on the number you use. Okay, so you can use double or a floating point. You have to round them, and uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs>